Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Sentai22 here. How are you guys all doing? And today I'm going to do a common rider review for you. And today I'm going to check out the MG Figure Eyes Common Rider Ichigo Model Kit. Now, essentially, Bandai executives were thinking, hey, since we are so successful, with the Gundam model kit line, maybe we should transition into other ventures like Kamen Rider. Surely enough, they did. Uh, they did pretty much essentially all of the forms of Kamen Rider Double. Not really sure if they did or not. I do know that they did uh, Cyclone and Joker, Luna Trigger. I'm not really sure if they did the other forms, but uh, they essentially did those. Uh, they did uh, Skull as well as. Common Rider uh, XL. Yes, he does transform into his bike mode when you finish uh, building him, if you will. As well, uh, Common Rider O's. I'm not really sure if they've done anything beyond Common Rider O's. Um, the only thing I do know that in in this case with the uh, S the Hesse era, they actually did Common Rider Ichigo and Kamen Rider Nigo. Though Nigo you may have to get him as a Bandai uh, web exclusive which of course might be a little bit difficult to get. But essentially it's a Kamen Rider model kit and you can essentially build him and it's a really nice alternative if you cannot afford the Midicon uh, figures which roughly cost around six to sometimes seven hundred dollars. This is a great alternative although you may the only thing is that you have to build him but the good thing about it is is that uh, the building comes in sections when you start off which is pretty good um, you know as a guy growing up in the, the late the 90s and in the late 90s you know growing up to Gundams this was right up my alley I mean I used to collect the Gundams you know building the model kits as well as after Gundams, of course, I did the Zoids as well. So, um, out of the three hobbies, I would say uh, this one was a little bit more harder for me because uh, with the Gun the Gundam model kits that I used to buy, those would take me like roughly around a day to build. With this one, unfortunately, it took me around two days because you have, like I said, you have to build certain body parts and sections. I mean there's a lot of parts that you have to build for one particular body. For example, the, the torso has so many different parts you have to put inside uh, as well as the feet, as well as the arms and everything else. So yeah, I mean this was a very you know, very really fun experience building a common rider yourself which was pretty awesome, I'll tell you that for sure. So don't worry guys, I'm not going to build the actual thing right now and take you guys a lot of time. I actually, I actually already built this thing already a couple of months ago and uh, here it is. And here it is, Kamen Rider Ichigo. You guys a 360 degree view of the figure, very nice. Uh, built. As you can see, it looks very fantastic from a far away perspective, but if you look just very closely, as you can see, I am not the best when it comes to making model kits, so keep that in mind. Uh, but if you're a if you're a excellent person doing model kits, you probably would probably do a lot of, a lot better job than I do. Uh, as you can see, there are some. The things that are missing, as you can see, there are some uh, some ru red rubies missing from the Typhoon belt, <laughs> as well. Um, there's some little uh, little things right here from the uh, tr uh, from the mold tray, which I have to uh, take out with a kind of like a nail file or something like that, or you know a knife. And as you can definitely see, I almost broke this part off in the middle. <laughs> But, uh, you know, at least I tried, though. I mean, this was just a really awesome experience to actually build your own Kamen Rider in a way like you would build your own Gundams. Um, but, of course, uh, like I said, I'm a very bad. Uh, I'm very bad when it comes to making model kits, but, of course, you're probably better off. Uh, as you can definitely see, the stickers are not the best for this. 
then again not ed not every model kit as well so your best bet is just get some uh, spray paint at the very least a lot better option than these stickers because these stickers is just the worst so I mean but other than that it's a fantastic figure uh, in terms of posability you can actually do the rider kick but I'm not gonna do it uh, because uh, I like to keep it in this pose if I change the pose it just looks bad on my shelf so I don't want to do it and uh, also uh, there's some things that I kinda wish they could have done differently uh, with the model kit not having I mean I understand there's there's small pieces that are necessary for a certain part of the body but when it comes to the fingers this is uh, the other hand for this part here as you can see you, you have different kind of you have different uh, accessories when it comes to hands you have the uh, you know kind of the, the henshin pose hand and of course you have the regular hands as you can see one of the fingers are missing because they are so difficult to put in I mean it was it was just a a painstaking task I mean I kinda wish they would have just did it like in the same way that they did with the SH fig arts so but uh, yeah I mean it is a really awesome model kit if you're a Kamen Rider fan or a Gundam fan at the same time uh, I definitely recommend you getting this if you're on the market to buy one I definitely recommend it it's kinda sad really that they're only uh, I mean I'm not I haven't heard any of the newer ones Kamen Rider figureize uh, kits uh, beyond O's unfortunately but uh, hopefully you know I guess they weren't selling well, but hopefully they might do some more in the near future. I mean, I would have definitely bought a Kuga or a Kamen Rider Kabuto figure eyes model kit. So, all right, guys, uh, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please, guys, comment as well as subscribe. This is Sentai22, and uh, thanks for watching.